guys, so as the title suggests, today's video is going to be my top beauty hacks of 2017. Now I know we're not that far into the year, but I didn't get around to filming one of these videos last year and I wanted to film one hopefully with some hacks that you've never seen before. There are going to be some ones that some of you probably will know, but hopefully you'll learn something new from today's video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you do like it and make sure you hit the subscribe button below. And without further ado, let's get started. So hack number one is a really good hack if like me you have really flat kind of limp fine hair and that is to blow dry your hair upside down. So instead of just blow drying my hair kind of against my head, which is just gonna make it even flatter, I tip my head upside down and just blow dry it like that. This is really gonna give your roots a volume boost and you can always kind of just blast your hair kind of down at the end um, if you don't want it to end up everywhere. But as you can see, this really, really does work. It's really effective. So hack number two is a hack that I learned recently when I I dropped a powder um, that I really liked and I didn't want to chuck it away so I found on the internet the best way to fix a powder so I thought I'd share that with you guys so what you're gonna need for this is a Ziploc bag preferably I couldn't find one so I'm just using this normal um, plastic bag then you're gonna need a spoon a flat knife now people usually use butter knives for this but I couldn't find one so I am using a palette knife but it's still flat then you're gonna need some rubber alcohol this is what helps the powder set now you can find rubbing alcohol at your local kind of chemist and drugstore and whatnot and then finally you're gonna need some tissues the one I'm gonna be showing you how to fix today is champagne pop and it's fair to say I nearly cried <laughs> so what you're gonna do is pop your broken powder inside your plastic bag and I have seen some people tip it all out into the plastic bag but I didn't do this just to minimize kind of wastage of the product then just grab your spoon and crush the powder up when you've got a fine powder it's time to add the alcohol so what I would advise for this is that you use the cap of the alcohol just tiny tiny amounts start with less alcohol because you can always kind of build it up if you put loads in then obviously that's not good so pour it uh, little by little into the powder making sure it is all covered now you're just gonna mix it into a paste so just stir it around with your spoon making sure you get all the powder from around the outside then just grab your flat knife and smooth it over now it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth at this point because we're gonna make it even smoother in a second now it's time to grab your tissues and these are also great for absorbing all the extra alcohol in the powder then you just need to grab a flat object one the same size as the powder would be ideal but if not you can just use any kind of makeup or household product that has a flat surface on it and you're just gonna lightly tap on top of the tissue until the powder is flat once you've done this and your powder is smooth you then need to leave it to dry so what I did was leave mine in the airing cupboard overnight and then this is what it looked like in the morning so it obviously isn't perfect but it's not crushed anymore and I can dip a brush in the product without it going everywhere so hack number three is a way in which you can ditch your razor and get smooth permanently hair free skin now I did a lot of research on this topic and I came across a load of kind of home remedies um, online but for this one I think I'm gonna go with science. So the device that allows you to do this is the Smooth Skin Bare IPL. Now I'd seen a lot of these IPL devices pop up and they're very similar to laser hair removal which you go to the clinic and get done except well this one you can do it literally set in bed and it is not is costly if you think about how much money you're gonna spend over the years on like hair removal razors and getting your body hair waxed I think it's definitely worth the investment so I'll just tell you guys how it works and how I use it the IPL works uh, by breaking your hair's cycle so after one use you're not gonna have permanently smooth legs for life you have to use it kind of regularly if you want it to work but you do start seeing results after around four weeks so you're not waiting ages I've used it once a week for the past six weeks and this is the current state of my hair just 
in case you're wondering. It's kind of a lot finer, it's a lot lighter in colour and it does take a lot longer to grow. Now treatment time obviously differs between people but I think with another couple of weeks usage my hair is going to be completely gone. So the device is super simple to use, all you need to do is prep your skin beforehand. So I didn't actually realise this but you have to uh, shave your legs and I also exfoliate just to get rid of all the dead skin to make the device kind of more effective. You want to make sure that your legs are fully dry with no creams or gels on them and you just press it down flat onto your skin and I'm using the gliding motion here because I'm doing it on my legs to show you guys but if you're doing like more stubborn areas like your underarms you're going to want to use like a stamping motion. It's super quick, I think it flashes like a hundred times a minute which is amazing. It means I can do like my whole body, like my underarms, legs, bikini line and even my face um, in under like 10 minutes. The device is also super safe because it has a skin tone sensor in the little window and it will not flash if it doesn't deem your skin tone safe. So if you use it once a week like I have been doing you can see a I think it's a 92% reduction in hair after just four weeks which is amazing. It's not an instant hair removal hack um, like a lot of them claim to be but I think in this case permanent trumps instant. Hack number four is a hair hack. I often get asked how I make my hair wavy and I do it with this really simple method so what you do is you put your hair in four plaits. Then all you do is just run your straighteners down the plaits. Then when you take your plaits out, you should have wavy hair. Now I like to add a lot of salt spray into the mix because I am obsessed with salt spray. And this Tony and Guy one that I'm using is probably the best salt spray I've found. And we'll out beach waves in minutes. Hack number five is a really useful hack if like me, you're really lazy. And when you make a mistake on your lipstick, you can't be able to take it all off and do it all again. All you need to do to fix your lipstick is grab a concealer and a brush. I like to use this angled brush because I find it's most effective. And then you just literally go over the area that you've messed up with concealer and just keep going over it and it will be gone. It's also a good idea to do this all around your lips even if you haven't made a mistake because it actually stops your lipstick bleeding. Next up, if you don't have a contour brush but you do have a blush brush, you can make your very own contour brush. So all you're gonna need for this is your blush brush and a bobby pin and you simply put the bobby pin onto the brush and as you can see it creates a flatter contour brush for you and here is me just contouring just make sure you take the bobby pin off after next up is a hack if you've drawn your eyebrows on too dark which i do a lot because my hair is blonde so i can't really have black eyebrows this is a really simple hack all you need is some translucent powder and a brush and you literally just brush on the powder on top of your brows and it will instantly lighten the colour of them so you don't need to redo them. Hack number eight, if you don't own an eyeshadow primer, all you need is to grab your white eyeliner and put this all over your lid. Now I find white eyeliner is a really good base for eyeshadow, I find it makes the kind of pigment stand out more and because it's so waxy it's going to make your eyeshadow last even longer. Next up is a tip for plumping lips, so if you own an eye cream then you own a lip plumper and it may sound really weird at first but if you think about it a lot of eye creams are designed to plump up the eye area and all the wrinkles so if you apply this to your lips it's going to do the same job and this is also really good if you're wanting to get rid of the wrinkles around your mouth so all you want to do is grab a bit of eye cream and put this all over your lips preferably twice a day in the morning and in the evening and you will instantly see results and if you carry on using it i promise you you will see the difference and hack number 10 is something for getting waterproof makeup off so if you struggle to get your waterproof makeup off especially waterproof mascara then all you need is a little bit of olive oil on a cotton pad or almond oil and literally just rub this over your eye area and it should just melt off so that is it for my top 10 hacks i really hope you liked it and i hope you learned something new do let me know in the comments below if you do go on to try any of them out give this video a big thumbs up if you did like it because it really means a lot to me Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all very very soon. Goodbye!